these are my these are my three audience members all over the age of 16. This is Vincent Van Gogh's eulogy by yours truly. So when you picture the great artists of the past, you probably picture Michelangelo, who was famous for painting the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the creation of Adam, where we get the famous hand, or maybe Leonardo da Vinci, who made the Mona Lisa and many other paintings. He was also an inventor. Or perhaps you pick, picture Pablo Picasso, who was famous for his unique art style in which it seemed a little childish, and but he was definitely a master of his craft. But one that you may or may not picture is Vincent van Gogh, who was young when he died, but he had well over 1300 works of art. And today I'm going to be talking to you about his death and its impact on the world, his art career, and his brother, Theo van Gogh. This was a self-portrait that he did at the beginning of his art career. His art life, he was often quoted as saying that he wasn't where he wanted to be. It was also in one of his letters to his brother, Theo van Gogh, that he said, it often, uh, it can constantly remains as a source of disappointment to me that my art is not yet where I want it to be. Basically, what he was envisioning is not what he was putting down on paper. But that was actually very impressive because he really only had about 10 years to make his art. He only started seriously painting in 1880 and he died in 1890. So he got to where he was as an artist from a beginner to a complete master of his craft in just a few short years. I got that from uh, the intellectual Chaco and the Oler Muse. Some of his famous works you may recognize as uh, Starry Night. This is Starry Night and um, he painted that as well as irises in an insane asylum that he checked himself into after having severe depressive and anxiety attacks, as well as epileptic disorders. It was during one of these attacks that he cut off his ear and gave it to a local prostitute. You may also recognize apple blossoms. He gave the, he made this at the beginning of his art career in 1880 and gave it to his brother Theo van Gogh for the birth of his brother's son. One of the other paintings he made as gifts is uh, the Sunflower series. He made it for his friend Paul Gaugin, who was visiting his home in Paris at the time, and he wanted to brighten up his room. Only a few of his works ever sold during his lifetime, actually only one ever sold, and most he gave to his brother Theo, so these were exceptions that, to that rule that he kept most of his art for himself. So his famous works impacted the world as well as his death. He died July 29th, 1890. He was 37. And at the time, many people believed it was suicide because he was in an asylum. That's what people in asylums did. But people were beginning to question that, namely the police in later years. For one thing, there was no suicide note. He wasn't planning to kill himself that day. He was planning to just go out and paint. When they checked his apartment, they found unfinished letters, unfinished paintings, the bed wasn't made, things like that. So he definitely wasn't planning it. As well as it was the wrong angle that he shot himself. He shot himself in the stomach and then hobbled back to his apartment and still managed to live a few more hours before eventually dying. But it was the wrong angle because it was shot from downwards where he couldn't have pulled the trigger on a shotgun, as well as at a distance. So it was probably assisted at best. And finally, when he was questioned by the police, they asked, did you shoot yourself? Did you do this to yourself? And in his groggy state, he said, I don't know, maybe. People begin to believe he was covering up for local boys that actually did the crime that were bullying him. but. That just goes to show how kind-hearted he is and what an impact his death had on the world. Many of his paintings sold for millions of dollars after his death. The, the highest selling one was recorded at um, $83 million in, in 1990, but with inflation that would be about $180 million today. That was a portrait of Dr. Paul Gaugin who was actually the doctor that tried to help him after he sh 
shot himself, but he ended up not helping much with that. Um, as well as his, his impact on the world, it also impacted his brother, Theo, who, who he had a very close relationship with. He sent um, 658 letters to Theo, and he received eight, 83 of them back because he sent all of his art to Theo because Theo was funding all of his art. He would send him tubes of paint, he would send him canvases and money to learn French because he was living in Paris. And you can find Vincent van Gogh's actual grave right next to his brother Theo's. He has thousands of memorials around the world, but this one is the most touching because it was close to his brother. I got it from findagrave.com and the van Gogh Museum. He was a very religious man. Uh, he wanted to be a missionary when he was younger, but he ended up falling back on his art career. He often spoke about the Bible in his letters and aloud to other people. And I got that from uh, uh, Humane Pursuits Memorial of Vincent Van Gogh. So in conclusion, Vincent Van Gogh had a great impact on the world and his art career did as well as the people around him and who were close to him. And these are my sources.